Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Experience Tutor. Today we will discuss Chemistry Chapter Solution. This video tutorial is prepared for the students who are giving class 12th board examinations, ITJEE, NEET or any engineering and medical entrance examinations. Before we begin, we have a small request for you. Please subscribe, like and share our cha channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. If you subscribe our channel, you will not miss any of the videos because we have more than 200 videos in our channel and it is very difficult to search each of them. If you are subscribed to this channel, you will get automatically updated and you will not miss any videos. Raoult's Law Today we will start with Raoult's Law. It states that for a solution of volatile liquids, the partial vapor pressure of each component of the solution is directly proportional to the to its mole fraction. So, if we underline the important words that is partial vapor pressure, second is directly proportional third is mole fraction to its mole fraction. So simply we can define as each component of the solution is directly proportional. The partial vapor, vapor pressure of each component of the solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction. So proof of Raoult's law. The binary solution in which non-volatile solute is dissolved in the solution, the vapor pressure is only due to solvent. If the vapor pressure of the solvent is denoted by P1, then its mole and its small fraction is denoted by X1, then we can write P1 is directly proportional to X1. Therefore, P1 is equal to P x1 into P1 naught. Here P1 naught is the proportionality constant and its value is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So we can write x is equal to P1 upon P1 naught. This is equation number 2. So one thing you have to understand mathematically, whenever we remove a proportionality here, we put a constant and equal to. So this constant is called proportionality constant. And here the proportionality constant is, uh, is uh, defined as vapor pressure of the pure solvent. Now, but x1 is equal to n1 upon n1 plus n2 where n1 plus n1 and n2 are the moles of solvent and solute respectively putting the value of x1 in equation 2 we get p1 upon p1 naught is equal to n1 upon n1 plus n2 so subtracting each side from from 1 so 1 minus p1 upon p1 naught is equal to 1 minus n1 upon n1 plus n2 upon solving we get p1 naught minus p1 upon p1 naught is equal to n2 upon n n1 plus n2 that is equation number 3 but n2 upon n1 plus n2 is equal to x2 that is mole fraction of solute. 
So we can write P1 naught minus P1 upon P1 naught is equal to X2. Thus, so we can write here, thus the solution obtained by dissolving non-volatile solute in pure volatile solvent, the relative lowering of vapor pressure of solution is equal to the mole fraction of dissolved solute. So here few important things are there. So <coughs> dissolving non-volatile solute in pure volatile solvent, we get a solution. And by dissolving it, a non-volatile solute into a pu pure volatile solvent, we, we get lowering of vapor pressure. Vapor pressure gets lowered, which is equal to the mole fraction of the dissolved solute. For very dilute solution, N2 is less than N1, hence putting N1 plus N2 is approximately equal to N1. Therefore, P1 naught minus P1 upon P1 naught is equal to N2 minus N1, which is equal to equation 5. But N2 is equal to W2 upon M1. So, normal uh, mole is equal to uh, weight, mass of the solution upon mass of the substance upon molecular mass. So, N1 is equal to W1 upon M1. Putting these values, we get P1 naught minus P1 upon P1 naught is equal to W2 multiplied by M1 upon M2 multiplied by W1. This is equation number 6. Where W1 mass of the solvent, M1 molecular mass of the solvent, W2 mass of the solute, M2 molecular mass of the solute. Limitation of Rao's law 1. This law is applicable to very dilute solution. First. This law is applicable to ideal solution. This law is applicable to solutions where whose heat E of dilution does not change. It is applicable to solution whose total volume is equal to the sum of volumes of the solute and solvent if they are in liquid state. Fifth limitation is the law of uh, this law is applicable to non electrolyte aqueous solution which is which do not undergo any dissociation or association when solute dissolved in solvent. Now, Ra Raoult's law for volatile solute and volatile solvent. According to Raoult's law, volatile solute and volatile solvent vapor pressure of both the solute and solvent will be proportional to their mole fraction so it will be proportional vapor pressure of either solute or solvent will be proportional to mole fraction suppose a binary solution xa is the mole fraction of solute a and partial pressure is Pa. So, Xa is the mole fraction of solute A and partial vapor pressure, partial pressure or partial vapor pressure is Pa and Xb is the mole fraction of solvent B and partial vapor pressure is Pb. Then, Then, according to Raoult's law, Pa is directly proportional to Xa and Pb is directly proportional to Xb. According to experimental observation, 
Raoult's law can be proved if the vapor pressure of the solute is Pa0 and vapor pressure of the pure solvent is P. Uh, so, vapor pressure of the solute is Pa0 and vapor pressure of the pure solvent is Pb0. Then we can write Pa is equal to Pa0 multiplied by Xa equation 1. Pb is equal to Pb0 multiplied by Xb equation 2. So, according to according to Dalton's law, the partial pressure, the total law of partial pressure, according to Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure is in a closed vessel will be total pressure P is equal to Pa plus Pb. Therefore, the value putting the value of Pa and Pb from equation 1 and 2, we get P is equal to Pa naught Xa plus Pb naught Xb. Now, uh, take Pa common. So, we get this Pa brackets 1 minus Xb plus Pb naught Pb multiply uh, Pb multiply by Xb. So, how uh, we get this, the first term, uh, we have put Xa is equal to 1 minus Xb. Now, upon solving, we get Pa minus Pa naught Xb plus Pb naught into Xb is equal to Pa naught plus Pb naught minus Pa naught into Xb. This is equation 3. In the same way, total pressure P is equal to Pa naught plus Pb naught. Uh, Pa P is equal to Pa plus Pb. Putting the values of Pa and Pb, we get Pa naught Xa, Xa plus Pb naught Xb. Now, here we will convert Xp is equal to 1 minus Xa. So, uh, putting this value here, we and upon solving, we get this equation P. Pa naught Xa plus Pb naught minus Pb naught Xa. Now, upon solving, we get P, Pb plus Pa naught minus Pb naught multiplied by X, Xa. This is equation number 4. Now, let us see an example to get more clarification on Ralph's law and uh, its application. Okay. Vapor pressure of methyl chloride and CH2Cl2 are 540 mmHg and 402 mmHg respectively. 101 gram of uh, CH3Cl plus 85 gram of CH2Cl2 are mixed together determine the pressure at which the solution starts boiling. Second, Molar ratio of solute versus solvent in vapor pressure in equilibrium with solution. Now, here boiling occurs uh, when external pressure becomes equal to vapor pressure. So, the boiling pressure is equal to vapor pressure of the solution, which is equal to PAXA plus PBXB. Just now we have done in the theory. Now, let A is equal to CH3Cl and B is equal to CH2Cl2. Now, total pressure is equal to 540 multiplied by 2 by 3 plus 402 multiplied by 1 by 3. Upon solving, we get 360 plus 134 that is 494 mm Hg. Now, how uh, here the solu uh, solute is um, CH2Cl2 as mass is less. So, here is mass is 134, so it is um, less. So, we can write 
x dash ch2 cl2 is equal to 402 multiply by 1 upon 3 upon 494 is equal to 134 upon 494 and x dash ch Three CL is equal to five forty multiply by one by three upon four ninety four is equal to three sixty four ninety four. Now N S C H two C L two upon N S C H C L three is equal to. Mm, here some correction needed ch3 cl so n dash ch2 cl2 upon n dash ch3 cl is equal to n solute upon n solvent that is 134 upon 360 that is 0.372 now let us see few objective questions for NEET and other medical tests Please message us to know the correct answer. So first try to solve on your own. If you want, if you have any doubt, please write a message. We'll, we'll reply you with the answers. So A, the tank used by scuba driver are filled with air dilute with 11.7% helium. There are four choices given which is correct. You have to take it out. 56.2% N2 and 32.1% O2. 56B, 56.2% O2 and 32.1% N2. C, 50.2% N2 and 38.1% O2. D, 50% 50.2% O2 and 38.1% N2. The next question is the blocking of capillary due to sudden release of bubbles in N of N2 gas in blood is known as Benz, Blends, C, Mens, and D, all of these. Third, which of the following gas should have maximum value of KH? A. Helium, B. Hydrogen, C. Nitrogen, and D. Carbon dioxide. Fourth, the increase in temperature of the aqua solution placed in a closed vessel will result in its A. Molarity to increase, B. Molality to decrease, C. Mole fraction to increase, D. Mass percentage to increase. Fifth, vapor pressure of vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by vapor A in equilibrium with liquid B in any condition C in an open system D in atmospheric conditions. Ideal solution. So, what is ideal solution? The solution which obeys the Laurel's law over the entire range of concentration is known as ideal solution. So, it is very simple, just uh, the solution which obeys Raoult's law with all range, entire range of concentration is known as ideal solution. So, properties of ideal solution. On First, on mixing solute and solvent, if the solution is obtained, then for this reaction, change of enthalpy delta H is 0. So, change in heat, change in internal heat is 0. On mixing solute and solvent, So, this is the first property. Second, if the solute and solvent in one liquid state are in liquid state, 
Then on preparing solution, the change in volume delta V is zero. So change in volume and enthalpy should be zero for an ideal solution while creating a solution. Now non-ideal solution. When the solution does not obey Raoult's law over a range entire range of concentration then it is called non-ideal solution. This solution is call, also called real solution. The vapor pressure such as of such solution is either higher or lower than that uh, predicted by Raoult's law. Now here the internal heat or enthalpy uh, delta H and delta V the volume change in volume is not zero. Uh, so, so these are called non-idle solution. Let us solve few numericals for 12th boards, IITJ and other engineering and medical entrance examinations. First, first example, calculate the vapor pressure of 4% W by W aqua solution of urea at 298 K temperature. The vapor pressure of water is 0 0.025 bar. According to Raoult's law, we will just write the formula P1 dash P1 P1 naught upon P1 upon P1 naught is equal to N2 upon N1. Now 4% W by W urea solution means 4 gram urea in 96 gram of water and P1 dash is equal to 0 0.025 bar. So N1 is equal to W1 upon M1. Putting the value of W1 and M1 as we get 96 upon 18, that is 5.33 mole per of water. N2 is equal to W2 upon M2, that is 4 upon 60. Upon solving, we get 0 0.0667 mole of urea. Now putting this value of P1 naught, N1 and N2 in Raoult's equation, we get 0 0.025 minus P1 upon 0 0.025 is equal to 0 0.0667 upon 5.33. Now, we get 0 0.025 minus P1 is equal to 0 0.0667 upon multiply by 0 0.025 upon 5.33 upon solving we get 0 0.0333 0 0.00313 so p1 is equal to 0 0.025 minus 0 0.00313 and upon solving we get 0 0.02469 the vapor pressure of 4% w by w aqua solution of area will be 0 0.02469 bar. Example, the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene and bromobenzene are 0 0.350 bar and 0.5 bar uh, respectively. Find the vapor pressure of the solution obtained by mixing 11.25 gram of chlorobenzene with 31.24 31.4 gram bromobenzene the molecular masses of chlorobenzene is this much and bromobenzene is this much respectively and bromobenzene. Okay. Now mole of moles of chlorobenzene is equal to W by M that is 
11.25 upon 11 112.5 that is 0 0.1 mole similarly moles of bromobenzene is equal to w by m that is 31.4 upon 157 is equal to 0.2 mole total moles is equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.3 mole the mole fraction of chlorobenzene x1 is equal to 0 0.1 upon uh, moles of benzene upon total moles so 0 0.1 upon 0.3 that is 1 by 3 moles fra mole fraction of chlorobromobenzene is, uh, uh, is equal to x2 is equal to 0 0.2 upon 0 0.3 is equal to 2 by 3 Here, P1 is equal to 0.35 par, P2 is equal to 0.5 par, according to Rao's law, vapor pressure is equal to P1 plus P2 minus P1 multiplied by X2, that is 0.350 plus 0.5 minus 0.35 multiplied by 2 by 3. Upon solving, we get this and this, and upon and upon solving, upon adding, we get 0.45 par. The vapor pressure of the solution will be 0.45 par. Now we'll start azeotropy. At a unique composition, non-ideal solutions from constant boiling mixture which cannot be separated by fractional distillation, such solutions are called azeotropic solution. And this phenomena is called azeotropy. Two types of non-ideal solutions from two different azeotropes. So we have to understand what is azeotropy. At a unique composition, non ideal solution form constant form constant boiling mixture. So it forms a constant boiling mixtures which cannot be separated by fractional distillation. Such solutions are called azeotropic solutions, and this phenomena is known as azeotropy. So there are two types of non ideal solution from two different Azeotropes. Maximum boiling azeotropes. Maximum boiling azeotropes are the solution formed by solution with negative deviation under azeotropic condition. Example, this category are aqueous 68 W by W solution of HNO3 and 20.3% W by W aqueous HCl. Now, maximum boiling azeotropes. So, maximum boiling azeotropes are solutions formed by solutions with positive deviation from the ideal behavior. So, example of this category are aqueous 95.37% W by W ethanol solution and aqueous 71.7% uh, W by W proportional. Now, colligative properties. Property of solution depending upon the number of so solute particle per unit volume. So, colligative properties, uh, uh, properties of solution depending upon number of solute particle per unit volume is known as colligative property. They are relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation of boiling point, depression in freezing point, osmotic pressure so elevation of boiling point 
The temperature at which vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure is known as boiling point. So, vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure and that temperature is called boiling point. That is known as boiling point. The property of raising the boiling point when some non-volatile solute is added is called elevation of boiling point. So when a non-volatile substance or solute is added to the solution, then there is an elevation of boiling point. The vapor pressure of the solution is lower than that of the pure solvent and vapor pressure increases with increase in temperature. Hence, the solution is to be heated at higher temperature to make the vapor pressure equal to the osmotic pressure. Let the temperature, so what happens here? The vapor pressure of the solu solution is lower than that of the pure solvent and vapor pressure increases with the increase in temperature. Hence, the solution is to be heated higher uh, at higher temperature to make the vapor pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure. Then the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solvent and the solution becomes equal So, the temperature, uh, let the temperature of uh, at which the vapor pressure of the solvent and the solution becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure are T0 and T respectively. Here, T is greater than T0. The difference is called elevation in boiling point that is delta T0. It is given by delta P, uh, delta B, sorry delta B and delta B is equal to T minus T0. Now, molar elevation constant or Eblis, Eblis peak constant Kb. It, it is the increase in boiling point when molality of the solution is unity. So, Delta Tb is equal to Kb m when m is equal to 1 and Tb is equal to Kb. Delta Tb is equal to Kb. Delta T Delta Tb is equal to Kb multiply by Wb multiply by 1000 upon mb upon w, uh, multiply by Wa. Just we have put the formula mb is equal to wb multiplied by 1000 delta tb multiplied by upon delta tb multiplied by wa into kb now kb is equal to rtb square rt square b upon 1000 lb is equal to m0 t r rb square upon 1000 delta hb where where Tb is equal to boiling point of the liquid, pure sol solvent and Lb is equal to latent heat of evaporation per gram of solute. Lv is equal to delta H V upon M0 where M0 is equal to molecular heat of component of compound. So, delta H is equal to heat of evaporation per mole of solvent. Now, let us solve examples to get a more clear concept. So, the boiling point of pure acetone is 56.38 when 0 0.707 gram of compound is dissolved in 10 gram of acetone.
10 gram of acetone there is a elevation of 56.88 degree centigrade in the boiling point what is the molecular weight of the compound kb of acetone is 1.72 k kg per mole so delta tb is equal to kb multiply by m which is equal to 56.88 minus 56.38 is equal to 192. So, delta T is equal to KB into M that is 56.88 minus 56.38 which is 1.72 multiplied by 0.727 upon MB multiplied by 1000 upon 10. So, MB is equal to 243.2. Now, let us see some example. 0.9 gram of urea when dissolved in 45 gram water caused elevation of 0.17 degree centigrade in boiling point. Calculate the molar elevation constant in of water delta t is equal to kb multiply by w1 multiply by 1000 upon w2 multiply by m1 so kb is equal to delta tb multiply by h2 multiply by m1 upon w2 multiply by 1000 putting the values of kb w2 m1 w1 and 1000 we get 0.17 multiplied by 4 45 multiplied by 60 multiplied uh, upon 0.9 multiplied by 1000 so uh, so 0.51 k kg per mole now depression in freezing point the property of decreasing in freezing point when some non volatile solute is dissolved is called depression in freezing point the depression in freezing point is respect is represented as delta tf delta tf is equal to delta f minus delta m minus t L tf minus tf dash and delta tf is directly proportional to m and delta tf is e is equal to kf into m kf multiply by m here K, kf is the molar depression of cross pick constant sub substituting the value of molality molality in the above equation one we can get delta tf is equal to kf upon w2 by m2 upon w1 by m1000 m2 is equal to so m2 is equal to kf multiply by w2 multiply by 1000 upon delta kf w1 so kf is equal to mr tf square multiply by 1000 delta freeze h naught and its unit is k kg mole inverse so Delta freeze H naught is equal to standard and type pi of freezing. So let us see an example. An aqua solution has 5% urea and 10% glucose by weight what will be the freezing point of the solution kf water is equal to 1.86 k kg per mole 
So delta T is equal to delta urea, uh, delta T urea plus delta T glucose. Putting the values of, uh, put uh, into formula of delta T urea and delta T glucose. So thousand into one point six eight into uh, five upon sixty um, into eighty five plus thousand into 1.86 multiply by 10 upon 180 plus uh, multiply by 85 upon adding we get 3.04 freezing point is 0 minus 3.04 that is minus 3.04 c So now now osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is the pressure required to stop osmosis osmosis is the process of flow of solvent molecule through semi permeable membrane spm towards the solution with greater number of particles per unit volume when two solutes uh, with different number of particles per liter are separated with spm solvent particle from the sol solution of lower osmotic pressure starts flowing towards the solution of higher atmospheric pressure so this is the self explanatory uh, thing we have uh, written in the note so just you read carefully and uh, listen it you can automatically as understand the thing so solution with low osmotic pressure is called hypotonic with respect to the solution with higher atmospheric is known uh, pressure uh, osmotic pressure is known as hypotonic the solution with same osmotic pressure is known as isomeric thus pi is equal to h d h uh, HDG that is hydraulic pressure where pi is equal to osmotic pressure D is equal to density G is equal to exertion due to gravity and H is equal to height obtained by solution by solution over uh, solvent in capil capillary So Wendehoff, Wendehoff uh, further found the dilute solution can be treated like a ideal gas and osmotic pressure behaves like a pressure of the gas. So pi is equal to N upon VRT that is CRT, C is the molar concentration. So pi is equal to W by M multiplied by VRT. So we can write and pi is equal to W by MV multiplied by RT. So pi is equal to HDG is equal to CRT. So collaborative properties are mainly used to find the molar mass of non-volatile solute. Osmotic pressure is used to determine the molecular mass uh, of biological bi biomolecules and polymers. Now we'll study examples of os osmotic pressure. Plant absorb water from soil through its roots due to osmosis. The water assimilated by the plant move into different parts of the plant due to osmosis. Due to osmosis, water molecule Due to, osmotic, uh, os due to osmosis, the water reacts with different parts, water reaches into different parts of the animal body also. So it reaches to the different parts of animal as well as plant. Fourth one, op opening of flower and closing of flower is also controlled by osmosis. So. Bursting, bursting of red blood cells when 
placed in water is also due to osmosis. Rapid growth of plants and germination of seeds are due to osmosis. So let us solve few problems for IIT and other engineering questions uh, during uh, entrance examinations. So example, 6 gram of urea is dissolved in 2 liter solution at 300K temperature. So, 6 gram of urea is dissolved in 2 liter of solution at three, uh, 300 K temperature. How many uh, gram of NaCl should be dissolved in 5 liter? 5 liter solution so that it becomes isoosmotic with urea solution. As the temperature and gas constant are have same values for both solution Therefore, mole of urea upon volume of urea uh, solution is equal to mole of NaCl upon volume of NaCl solution. So, 0.1 upon 2 is equal to mole of NaCl upon 5 moles of urea upon is equal to W by M is equal to 6 by 60 is equal to 0.1 mole. Moles of NaCl is equal to 0.1 multiplied by 5 upon 2 that is 0.25 mole. Now NaCl you can write Na plus Cl minus the number of particles is 2 and for a osmotic solution the number of particles required is 0.25 mole number of uh, particles. So the, um, so the mole of NaCl will be half. Therefore, number of moles of NaCl is equal to 0 0.25 upon 2, that is 1.125 mole. Now, now, amount of NaCl in gram is equal to number of moles into molar mass, that is 0 0.125 multiplied by 58.5, that is 7.31 gram. So 7.31 gram NaCl should be dissolved so that it becomes osmotic, os, uh, isometric with urea solution. So here what we have done again recap. So as the temperature of the gas constant R is, say, uh, is of same value for both the solution. So mole of urea upon volume of urea solution mole of n is equal to mole of NaCl and volume of NaCl solution. So separately, so we are by putting the values we calculate the number of moles here of NaCl which is 0.25. Again NaCl has Na plus NaCl minus so uh, two molecules so number of moles of NaCl will be divided. Uh, 0.25 by 2 and amount of NaCl in gram is equal to number of moles up, uh, multiplied by molar mass and we get the answer of 7.31 gram NaCl should be dissolved so that it becomes isotonic solution with e urea. Now questions for neat and similar examinations. So first question is, so we have not given the answer here, please communicate us, please message us if you need the answer, try on your own. So first 100 ml of liquid A and 25 ml of liquid B is mixed to give solution which does not obey Raoult's law, the volume of the solution A is A will be 125 ml, B can be greater than or smaller than 125 ml can be greater than equal to smaller than 125 ml and D1 will be less than 125 ml. Pure, second question, pure water boils at 37 373 K 
uh, and pure nitric acid boils at 359K. The azeotropic mixture of water and nitric acid boils is Tk. Therefore, select the correct one from the given options. A is equal to T is less than 359K, B is equal to T is greater than 359K, C T is small than 373K but great, uh, greater than uh, 359K and D unpredictable. So, Next is question number 3. A solution with osmotic pressure P, pi 1 is separated from another solution with osmotic pressure pi 2. With SPM, solvent flows from pi 1 to pi 2, then pi 1 is greater than pi 2, B, pi 1 uh, is, is smaller than pi 2, C, solutions are isotonic. D solutions are idle. Liquid A PA naught is equal to 360 mm Hg and B PB naught is equal to 320 mm Hg are mixed. If solution has vapor pressure 340 mm Hg, then then mole fraction of B in the solution will be A 33 upon 34, B 1 upon 34, C half and D 1 by 4. Fifth one, fifth question, the value of Ebilios scopic constant depends upon a delta H solution, b nature of the solvent, c nature of the solute and d freezing point of the solution. And this is the end of our today's session. Please subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Please click on the subscribe button to support us and also click on the bell icon to get automatic notification whenever a new video is uploaded by us. Thank, thank you for watching our videos and supporting us. Thank you very much.